Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today's new stitch is called the Sand Stitch. This one is a super, super easy stitch, just knits and purls. It's a four row repeat and you want to cast on with an even number of stitches. I believe I have 18 stitches on here. I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn with size 11 knitting needles. So on row one, we're going to knit one, purl one, all the way across. So we're gonna knit one, purl one. And I like to have some of these easier stitches in between some more complex stitches. One, to help build confidence, but two, to help remind me of how simple stitches are, um, I don't know, my bread and butter, that's my fallback. I love simple stitches. And this stitch here, that was a knit stitch to end with a purl, is, I feel like, I, I mean, do you guys ever feel like you live under a rock? Like, how did I not know about this stitch? It is so pretty and so simple. So on the back side, we're gonna knit one, purl one on row one, and then we're gonna knit all these stitches all the way across. So this row takes very little thought. You can just knit away. Now on the first row, we did a knit, purl, knit. On this row, row three, we're gonna purl, knit, purl. So see how we have three knit stitches in a row before we purl. And it just kind of, it looks like a diagonal, but not really. It's great texture. So row three, we're gonna, instead of knit, purl, knit, we're gonna purl, knit, purl. And to me, that's kind of the hardest part to remember once you get going is, do I start with a purl or do I start with a knit stitch? So I think that if I were knitting this for a while, I would probably use a stitch marker on my first row and just move it up so I knew where I was at in my pattern. So I'm gonna stop right there so you can see where I'm at. So I have one, two, three knit stitches and then I have a purl so I know I'm on the right path. And that's what I do whenever I'm knitting this. I, uh, I stop after a few stitches so that I just double check to make sure that I don't knit the whole row wrong. Because it is obvious whenever you uh, knit it wrong because then it's a seed stitch, not the sand stitch. And the last row, you're just gonna knit all the way across again. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there and go ahead and zoom that, get a, so you have a better picture of it. Pull that through. It has a nice, a very nice texture to it. And that is called the sand stitch. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and I hope to see you guys again next week. And thank you so much for watching.